here is the tree. A very rare endemic fruit here. A little orange berry. You can see some of the immature fruits right there. The leaves are pretty cool looking. This is a close ally of the elephant apple. It's the Linea ferruginea. Oh really? It's that one? Yeah. So this is related to elephant apples. <laughs> so if you look at the berries, it's like a peeled elephant apple. And here they call bois rouge, which means the red berry. It doesn't look red to me, but... So you see those little... move those little flaps with your fingers. So like an elephant apple, it's used like as a... A vegetable in India. They're very big. They're like almost like they're bigger than an apple and those little petals will be enclosed around the fruit which is very very small. This one the fruit is kind of stealing the show there. It's got like a little bit of flaps around it but you can kind of see the resemblance. You can see that they do have like a slight appearance like elephant apple but this one has probably as much fruit maybe a little bit less than the ones I was seeing in India because those were like mostly petals. I'm curious if this tastes like it at all. Do you want to... Yeah, I'll, I'll bite half of it off. Yeah. work. Much pretty disappointing. <laughs> You've had elephant apple, right? Yeah, this is... It's like a... A dry bell pepper. Okay. Does It's not fleshy at all. I kind of was hoping this would be a juicy little morsel. It's dry. Uh, it's dry. I mean, looks it looks kind of like a. If you look at the inside, it looks like a. Like a bell pepper on the inside. Oh yeah, it does. So it's like a bell pepper. Huh. This is really. This is actually native to the Seychelles. One of the few native fruits of the Seychelles. Mm -hmm. um, it only exists here in the Seychelles. And um, maybe it's not fully ripe. Could be. But I mean, I'm gonna count it as a as a try. Yeah, it's a very bright orange. Oh, pretty. So, looks the like the fruit bats seem to really enjoy it. Yeah, like all over the ground. The ground is covered with the remains of there's it. There's just like little, like half eaten ones. This is like one that managed to fall without something eating it first. It's a little slimy. That reminds me of the elephant apple. Kind of like when you eat it, it like coats your tongue with slime. Yeah, don't especially care for that. It probably could be used as like a thickening agent, just with like how that how that tastes. But the flavor itself, it's slightly sweet. It gets like maybe a one out of ten, maybe a little bit less, like a half out of ten. No tartness. Not a whole lot of flavor. Try Steven. to smell your breath. Got a odor. Yeah. I don't know how to explain that. It's it's not like elephant apple at all. Elephant apple had like a like a funkiness to it, kind of like garlic, in a way. This one doesn't have that. This just tastes. I don't know. Like you just like took a dry leaf and put it in your mouth. It's kind of disappointing. It's not juicy at all. It's just kind of like like dry bland vegetable kind of flavor so kind of disappointing it looks really cool and it's interesting that it's a relative of something that is uh more well known that's really big and just to see this little teeny version of it that's pretty nifty but yeah not the best tasting thing you know by far i wouldn't i wouldn't eat that again but still it's something that only exists here and it's a relative of something that is relatively important and com commercially available that's eaten by elephants. <laughs> so this is, a, this is a pretty cool one. Pretty rare, pretty interesting, pretty not super tasty, but it's still very, very interesting to try that. I call it a win. Yeah, I'll call this a win for sure. But um, yeah, let's, let's try to find something better. <laughs> I want to give a special shout out to AltPod and Smarter Every Day. They are mega patrons over on Patreon.com. Patreon is how this channel happens. It's how I can afford to do all the things that I do. So if you want to help me out by supporting the channel and getting some bonuses along the way, check out the description. I also have these shirts for sale. Those are in the description as well. See you next time. Bye.